The Pikes Peak Humane Society launching a new website to track pet bites and other animal attacks in El Paso County. New science Jessica Barreto learning more about the program and look at why it's so important for pet owners. Jessica. That's right, it's called the Bite Blotter and helps pet owners see the reality of these attacks in the community, but more importantly, how to help put a stop to them. A top priority for pet owners everywhere is their fur baby safety. Now, Pikes Peak Humane Society is helping pet parents access a new tool called the Bite Blotter. The website helps people track bites and attacks in El Paso County. Very similar to uh, a police blotter um, is just letting the public know what we see day in and day out. On the blotter you can find info like the severity of the bite, the type of victim, whether the animal has a bite history and the zip code where it happened. You can also read about the circumstances surrounding the attack. In the last year alone, animal law enforcement investigated more than a thousand bites like this one from November. That's about three a day. Animals can bite and do bite. These attacks can often leave long lasting impacts, both physical and emotional. People experience PTSD um, where they are fearful of walking their animal um, after you know experiencing something like that. Now officers hope this knowledge can help empower pet owners to avoid a similar outcome. Reading some of the circumstances of the different scenarios will make pet owners realize why it's important to put their dogs on a leash and keep their animals contained. Now everyone is required by law to report an animal bite. Right now the stats for the month of January are up on the bladder. If you want to check it out for yourself, we've posted a link on our website at KOEA.com. Always watching out for you, El Paso County, Jessica Barreto, News 5.